hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to talk about the uplift analysis in csi self so uh, we have two footing and the idea is to uh, run the first one as linear analysis and the other one run as uh, non-linear analysis so uh before we start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and if you like this video please put the thumb up as well okay so uh, I will show you the load uh, that I apply on this voting and uh, this is the dead load and this is the light load next uh, we need to create the uh, area springs so the first area spring uh, we will use the linear uh, analysis and the next one we select the compression only and uh, we will run the non-linear analysis and okay so the first one we will apply the uh, soil spring number one and for the second footing we will apply the area springs uh, number two uh, next we can go to the load cases so we have two load cases uh, the dead load and light load but uh, we need one uh, one more load case so I will choose the nonlinear analysis because we need to take the uplift uh, uh, we need to include the uplift uh, effect and I will add the dead load and light load and okay okay so uh, now we can run the analysis and we can set the plan view and next we can uh, check the uh, swipe uh, pressure so uh, i will select the load case that uh, i just created and apply so uh, as you can see we have different uh, results so the first footing here is not include the uplift analysis and the second uh, footing include the uplift uh, effect so uh, you can check the result here uh, we can see that uh, the soil pressure around here is the uh, uh, has the positive value and uh, the at the bottom we have the negative value and for this footing we have the bottom uh, uh, soil pressure as the uh, negative value and uh, for the area that has the uplift uh, effect it show uh, zero uh, value here so uh, once again you can check that your footing has the uplift effect uh, by show the, the uh, soil pressure here and if there are uh, zero value like this it means that uh, your footing has the uplift uh, effect so uh, this is how you can uh, consider the uplift effect uh, in your model or in your uh, sexual analysis and for the final part here we can check the uh, moment so uh, we can use the strip uh, forces option here and uh, I will show the uh, layer B and moment apply so uh, we can see the differences as well you can check the value here so we can see that the uh, the positive value uh, of the second uh, uh, footing is bigger but uh, the negative value on the first uh, footing uh, is bigger than the second footing and uh, you can 
check the uh, shell forces as well and we can select the moment and you can see the differences here so uh, this is it for this video and I hope you guys uh, enjoy this and thank you so much for watching I see you guys in my next uh, video